Customs and Border Protection saying that illegal crossings have been down since Title 42 was extended. That's the pandemic era policy deporting immigrants over public health concerns. It's one of the only tools they've had to send people back across the border after they cross illegally. But human smuggling is on the rise in a major way. This morning, News Nation has exclusive video from a ride along showing the chase and takedown of a suspected smuggler in the Rio Grande Valley. And our Robert Sherman is live at the southern border. You were on that ride along. Tell us what you saw, Robert. Well, Adrian, talking with law enforcement, they tell us that human smuggling, that's the big moneymaker down here in the Rio Grande Valley. And the craziness that we saw on this ride along, they say happens every day and every night. Rolling along in the South Texas dark, Lieutenant Chris Oliveras and Sergeant Guadalupe Casares of Texas DPS are on the lookout for human smuggling. How brave they are, how bold they are. They'll just fly a drone on the U.S. side, actually scanning along the wall here. It's a highly sophisticated cartel-led business that plagues the U.S.-Mexico border. And the Rio Grande Valley is the notorious epicenter. We decided to tag along for a few hours to see it for ourselves. The sun came up, and just like that, go, go, go. Yep. we found ourselves lead pursuit in a high-speed chase. A silver pickup truck bounding out of the brush, making a break for the north. A couple of migrants can be seen poking their heads out of the truck's bed. The driver makes a sharp turn down a residential street then slams on the brakes, appearing to unload his cargo, but then speeds off as Lieutenant Oliveras approaches. Moments later, he does it again, this time dropping an elderly woman out into the middle of the road right in front of the cruiser. A dangerous move to buy a few extra seconds as Lieutenant Oliveras gets her out of the way. The driver speeds off, this time hitting a dead end with nowhere to go. The migrants inside try to get out, but not before Oliveras rushes in. The driver bails out the other side and hightails through the nearby brush. You're riding along with Sergeant Casares as he hops the barbed wire fence and tries to chase him. The pursuit by foot goes on for two to three miles. That's until Border Patrol and DPS tracks him down and ultimately slap the cuffs on him. A total of 17 migrants were apprehended, stuffed into a pickup truck that only seats five. This is every day, I mean, uh, not just us on the state side, but also with Border Patrol and other local law enforcement that, that work here in this area. The scenes you see in Yuma, Arizona or El Paso, Texas show the humanitarian crisis of the border. Families seeking asylum, desperate for a new future. But that's not at all what's happening in the Rio Grande Valley. Very dynamic. The thing is, they use a lot of scouting. And what I mean by that, they use a lot of, you know, they use radios, they use cell phones. They're always communicating with each other. The driver communicating with scouts that are here on the U.S. side. Um, so it's very coordinated. And it unabashedly puts profits over human lives. Some pay tens of thousands of dollars to be smuggled into the U.S. Thankfully, everyone in this chase, including the elderly woman from earlier, survived. They really don't care you know, what happens to them, their safety. There was, I mean, they're packed in this truck. You had some that were in the bed of this truck. Um, and that's where we see these high-speed chases. And sometimes they turn deadly where we do see loss of life because of that. And it's all because it's all for profit. I mean, and Texas DPS tells us that that smuggler has already admitted to being paid about 150 bucks a head in order to smuggle those migrants. The plan was to move them to a stash house nearby here in the Rio Grande Valley. They would lie low there for a couple of days. Then another smuggler would come into the region, pick them up, and take them north. Adrian, it is a highly synchronized business model down here on the border. All right, highly synchronized. We're probably understaffed at this point uh, with so many people crossing over. Thank you, Robert. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.